Hey folks, welcome to Puzzle Spoilers. Today we're taking a look at the four-piece jigsaw puzzle. This is a disassembly puzzle designed by Ken Walker and Harry Nelson in the 1990s. It was originally created by Binary Arts in 1998 and it's still produced by ThinkFun today. The puzzle looks pretty simple. It consists of just four pieces. The goal is just to take it apart Seems like it would be pretty simple, but it requires some specific maneuvering. Let me show you how to solve it. So there's a coordinated movement involved. It's pretty simple. Let me show you how it works. You want to alternate the pieces so that one piece is up, the next piece is down, up, down. Let me show you what I mean by that. This piece, let's go up. This piece will push down. This piece will come up and that piece will be down. So they're all alternating up, down in a circle. Now, the key to this puzzle is that we need to rotate it. We'll rotate these two away from us and these two towards us at the same time. Let's try it. There we go. Now these can be taken apart easily. and you've solved the puzzle. To make the assembly a little more difficult, you could scramble these pieces. This could be considered also an assembly puzzle because you do need to put this back in a specific way. The pieces are hard to distinguish just by looking at them or comparing them. So the way that we can figure out which pieces go where is just by testing two pieces. So take two pieces at random and let's slide them together. This happens to be a good match. You see there's a good separation there. Let me show you a bad match. That one's good too. That's a bad match. The, the piece slides in, but not very far. We're not gonna get good separation there. So these two pieces actually are the same and we know that they're gonna be opposite of each other. Now we can take any of the other two pieces. That's a good two piece assembly. Now let's do the same thing with the other two pieces. Again, we've got good separation there. Now we know that these two assemblies will lock together nice and easy there. Let me show you what happens if you don't put it together correctly. I'll go ahead and swap some of these pieces. So we'll put this over here and this over here. See, we have very little separation there, little separation there. There's not enough room there for those to actually come together. So it'll be obvious that you've got the pieces put together wrong. You just go ahead and swap those two. We've got good separation on both of these assemblies and we can go ahead and do that twisting motion in reverse, push it down and we've solved the puzzle. I really like these puzzles that look very simple but actually turn out to be a little tricky. I'll put a link below to where you can buy this puzzle. If you found the video interesting, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. That's it for today, folks. I'll see you on the next video.